I was outside in the apiary early this morning and I noticed that uh, there was some attempted robbery going on. Good morning, there's Clint Baker from Hillbilly Hippie Honeybees. Uh, we are getting ready to make some community bucket feeders. Why? Well, this morning when I went out to the bee yard, I noticed that there was some strong hives uh, that are picking a little bit on the uh, not so strong hives and there's starting to be a little bit robin going on. So one way to counteract that is to make some community feeders and put out as far as you can from the bee yard so that they will go and they'll get the uh, one to one sugar water or one to 1.5 sugar water, whichever way you mix. This will help with the robbing and it will also help uh, build comb if you're trying to build comb for this time of the year. So I'm gonna use five gallon buckets. We're gonna put this throughout the yard uh, for some community feeders. So we are going to use two gallon feeder buckets. We're using food grade. Uh, you can probably use whatever type of bucket you want, but that's what we're using. You ask me why I've got this marker. Well, you don't want to drill a hole where we're going to drill a hole where the handles are. You'll see right there. So I want to mark on the inside where the handles are, just so that it does not leak there. All right. We're going to use, we want to go smaller than a 7 16 or I'm sorry, 16th inch, just for gravity feeding purposes. So I'm gonna use just a little bit smaller than that. Grab my drill. And then I'm gonna drill from the inside out. You don't wanna drill through the outside, but you see, these little channels right here, they may be hard to see, but these little channels right here, I want to drill one hole in each one from the inside, but I don't want to drill through this right here, okay? We are giving them a little bit of a supplement feed so that they will make it through. You can see I went all the way around with this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these buckets. As you can see, they've got the uh, rubber seal in them. I don't believe it really matters. You can get that, but you do want to remove this. If you don't remove this, you will end up locking it on there. You'll just have to remove it later anyway. So what we'll do is, is we will, after we mix up the uh, sugar water, we are actually going to put this on real tight, flip it over, and then that gives the bees, the, these little reservoirs here will fill up with the sugar water. Okay, now we're gonna mix up the sugar water. Sometimes during this year, a lot of people use one-to-one -one sugar water, one part sugar, uh, one part water. Uh, what you need to do is calculate out how many, and you know, there's eight, 0.35 pounds in a gallon of water and a cup of sugar is 2.29 pounds uh, like i said we're going to mix ours a little light so we're going to go um let's go about six and a half seven cups per gallon then that way we can mix it a little bit lean or a little bit thin for the the uh and if you're bigger or smaller you know we just do it the old-fashioned way we just measure it out That's going to be for our first gallon. Um, I always do one gallon at a time, it's just easier to mix up that way. So, dump a gallon of water in it. Some folks will use boiling water and boil it. We do put one teaspoon of bleach per gallon. That'll help it keep from fermenting on you. Once you get it all mixed up, of course, you're going to put a put the lid back on it real tight, and then you're going to take it out and you're going to flip it upside down, put it out of the way of uh, where your bees will be. We also add a little bit of homemade brood buster into it to get her starting to lay a little bit more. So we just placed the feeder out here. Uh, now, if you look right down inside the reservoir here, uh, there is the one to 1.5 or 1.25 sugar water. Uh, that way the bees will have some place to land. 
and safely get it and take it back to their house. We'll come back out later and I'll show you. Hopefully, they'll get to it.